All right, welcome back to the Screeps tutorial walkthrough. And we are on section four, the auto spawning of creeps. Um, so up to this point to create creeps, we've just been pasting code into the console. Uh, but remember that creeps only live for 1,500 ticks after which they'll die. And you don't want to sit at your computer all day long spawning creeps when they die. So we'll need some sort of system to spawn them automatically. And I imagine that's what we'll be doing uh, in this step of the tutorial. And yes, that's uh, essentially what this text box is telling you. This is rather a complicated topic, and many players spend months perfecting and refining their auto spawning code. So yeah, they're going to give you something simple here. Um, but as you're playing the game, uh, definitely feel free to uh, change it up, mess around with it, see if you can come up with something better. So you'll have you have to create new creeps when old ones die from age or for some other reason, since there are no events in the game to report deaths of a particular creep. The easiest way is to count the number of creeps you want of each type or each roll. And uh, if it becomes less than the amount you want, you start spawning a replacement. Uh, so in this code, they're going to use a low dash uh, function. They're going to use filter to count how many creeps we have of a particular type by looking at the memory. So let's go ahead and copy this code. It's going to go into our main module. Expand this. Okay, uh, so let's look at our game loop. The first line, it's going to find all of our harvesters by using this underscore, which is a shortcut for low dash in scripts. It's going to call filter on it, and it's going to take our array of creeps from the game object, and it's going to apply this filter to it. It's going to look at the role, and if the role is harvester, uh, it will return in the list uh, that gets saved to the harvester's variable. And in the next line, uh, in the console, we're going to report exactly how many harvesters we found. Uh, and by reporting things to the console like this, it helps us to debug uh, what's going on with our code. And then below that, we're just going to execute our roles, just how we did before. So I'll commit that code. And let's say we want to have at least two harvesters any time. Uh, the easiest way to achieve this is to run spawn creep. Each time we discover, it's less than the number that we want. And they are going to add a room visual, uh, which isn't required, but it will help you visualize when a creep is being spawned. So that's interesting. I wonder what sort of visual they came up with. So copy that, pasted it into my main, uh, my main module. And this is the code they had before, but then down here in this if statement, so if we have less than two, less than two harvesters, we're going to try to spawn a new one. Uh, and that will be this line here where it calls spawn creep, and this is the body composition. Uh, the name of the creep we are going to create uh, based off of the game time that's going to Make sure that we don't create two creeps with the same name. And then we're going to grab the spawn. Uh, and spawns have a spawning flag on it. And if it is spawning, uh, then we're going to draw this visual uh, that will help us to visualize uh, what, what creep is being spawned. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, and so to create this creep, we must first kill one of our old creeps. So that's what they're having us do here. Our harvester one uh, is going to be killed off so that its replacement will be born. So in the console, paste that and run it. So now in the console, we now have one harvester instead of two. So when it sees that, it's now going to spawn a new harvester and our harvester count is back up to two. An important point here is that the memory of dead creeps is not erased, but kept for later reuse. So if you keep creating creeps with random names like we're doing here by using the game time, um, that's going to lead to a bunch of junk in our memory that we don't need or want, and it's going to really fill up fast. So they're telling you here that you need to clear out your memory, at least periodically, um, to prevent that from happening. So we'll copy that and see what it looks like. Back in our main, 
So they're doing it right at the start of the game loop. They're going through all of their creeps. And if a creep doesn't exist, they're just going to delete that from memory. That's going to keep the memory clear. So now the memory is decreased, uh, which saves us on resources because each game tick, I believe, they need to parse everything in your memory, which takes a little time, uses up some of your CPU. And apart from creating new creeps after the death of the old ones, there's a way to maintain the needed number of creeps. And this is called a renew creep. So another option is your creeps can go up to your spawn and your spawn can renew the creeps uh, so that they never die. And that's it uh, for step number four. I will say that uh, renewing creeps is generally not the best option. It's usually better, especially when you first start playing the game, to just uh, create new creeps when the old ones die. Uh, but that's it for tutorial step number four. And in the next video, we'll do step number five, defending your room.